Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, Madison and I, this is Madison, my daughter, she is nine. We are going to be unboxing slash trying on slash reviewing our Shein haul. Did I say it right? I don't know. Shein? <laughs> I call so, it what do you call it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> so she got me to download download this clothing app and you get relatively cheap clothing but I'll get more into that in the video so if you want to see this haul what we got what we think of the items then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the app so this is the Shein app if I'm saying this wrong then comment below she downloaded this app a while ago and has an entire like favorites or wish list and the other day I was like you know what I really want to go through here because they have a lot of different options women's swimwear curve and plus home men and kids so I was like you know what let's go through and see what they have they had a lot of really really cheap or low price stuff so we decided to go ahead and buy quite a few things so I do have the list here to um, tell you like the prices and how much I paid for them and then as we pull them through figure out if we like them or not so Madison is going to be the holder of the phone so the first thing and we have opened these and looked at them we just haven't really like worn them what we're gonna do is we're gonna try them on and I'm going to slide them in a clip after each time we open it so that way you can see it so it won't be here we'll probably be facing the closet or something just have a plain background for you guys to be able to see them so this is her hoodie and this is for she and kids and how much was this one Madison? $4.42 okay so this was four dollars and forty two cents and it is like a tie-dye with very bright like neon colors and here is the hood so Madison is usually a size 8 9 so we went with this one was 9 8 I think it was like USA 9 years and then European was 134 yeah. so we will go ahead and have Madison <clears throat> try this on and then we will slip it into here on this was I definitely thought it would be a thicker hoodie and as you could see in the video it is just a little bit thinner and it is kind of see-through I don't know if you can see that but for four dollars and something I think this is really cute and it fit very well so she really likes it it's really thin enough for like spring but also for a little bit of the chilly days I wouldn't mm -hmm. really wear this maybe like in the winter or yeah. something it's kind of see-through but see -through, if you it like. is yes it is kind of see-through it's probably not picking up on camera but it is kind of see-through so a tank top or t-shirt mm -hmm. is definitely going to be needed but what do you think you like this one yeah okay so we have a like all right so the next one looks like it's going to be leggings and each individual item comes in a bag inside the package so I don't know if these are from different distributor different distributors or if they're from the same company I really don't know how this works I know it's from China I don't know if it's kind of like wish but just for clothing I'm not really certain but there is a lot of pretty cheap stuff there but some of the stuff ranges in price there were some shirts and dresses in the 20 and 30 dollar range for adults so I think that depending on the price is kind of depending on the quality that you're getting so these are a pair of leggings and they are just thin black leggings but at the bottom they have these really super cute beads or pearls on both legs which I feel are not put on very well no they're just glued on so we'll have to be careful when washing these because I'm certain she's gonna lose a bead they're fairly thin and a little bit long but I'll go ahead and show you her wearing them So she really likes these. You like these ones, mm -hmm. right? And how much were they? So these were $6.32, which is relatively around leggings. So they're not 
very thick so when I say that they are thin they are see-through a little bit but if you don't get them too tight then I don't think it'll be a problem if you get them super skin tight then it's gonna be an issue and her undies will probably show so this is in a European size 150 and a USA 11 12 youth the reason I get the bottoms a little bit bigger um, in leggings is because Madison is a little bit bigger in the bottom than she is with her tops <laughs> so do you why are you laughing so do you like this yeah okay so the next one is going to be an adult item um the kids one says she and kids and then the adult items just say she and sheen she and we're not certain so this is a 2xl i got a couple sizes bigger because i read a lot Ooh. that these are cut pretty small but what i have recently learned is i probably should have gotten true to size and just gotten an extra large so i think these are going to be a little bit big on me um and a little bit long so what is the price for this one madison ten and eighty ten dollars and eighty two cents so what it was supposed to look like and i'll go ahead and i will pop it on here for you and it is like this thick almost like a sweater kind of material with some slits on the side um it looks like really really good quality in this photo but i will tell you without trying it on that i do not believe the quality is there it is see-through and if you look at the slits, I'm going to try this on as well. Um, if you look at the slits here, it honestly just looks like there's no seam sewn. It literally just looks like someone took scissors up a dress and just cut it on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and slide a clip of me wearing it in and then we'll move on. So it's a little bit longer than I expected. Um, it's not too, too big, but I feel like if I wash it, it's gonna shrink a little bit. So I just really hate the cheapness of the cuts. And considering this one was almost $11, I would assume that it would be a little bit more, I guess, better quality, because I can go to Walmart and get a better quality shirt for like $11. So this one's okay. So this one is another adult one. And this one was the one that I really, really liked. So this one was how much, Madison? 1262. So this one is 1262. And again, probably going to be a little bit big on me because I did get it two sizes bigger. And it is super see-through. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It probably will not pick that up on camera. But you can see through it. So I have to I always wear a tank top under my clothes. So doesn't really matter. But <laughs> It is shorter in the front and then super long in the back. So I feel like I could wear this with leggings and maybe booties or sandals. Um, this one is actually a pretty good quality. I feel like it is a little bit thin, but not too thin like the other one. And it comes with a belt to cinch it up. So I'll go ahead and place a video of me wearing it right here. So I really do like how that one fits. It is a little bit loose or more loose than I prefer, but it's not terrible. The length is supposed to be a little bit longer, so that isn't bad. That one so far is my favorite, and we will move on. So the next thing are just colorful multi-rubber bands. I get these for my four-year-old because she has super, super thin hair, and this is really the only thing that will hold it. And how much were these? Um, Two dollars and sixty. Okay, $2.60, and how many are in there, does it say? 300 pieces, so there's supposed to be 300 hair ties in here, so that's really not bad. I would um, I guess we'll open it to see the quality of the rubber band. It's just great. Right, well, rubber band isn't the best quality, but I hope it's not one of those, like, super thin ones where, ew. Okay, so it's actually really thick, and I think that we're going to have a hard time getting them to snap but the only thing is they're they're hard so you have to kind of stretch them before you use them on the hair but they're they're really thick rubber bands actually which is really good and we lost one so we're down to 2 dollars it's in the bag somewhere so the next thing is another adult one are we gonna we're gonna get to madison stuff eventually 
So this one I actually tried on previously, but I will still go ahead and slide in a video of me wearing it right here. This one is a little bit bigger up top, I feel like. Um, I don't know that I like the looseness around the neck. It is very see-through. This one is 100% see-through. So again, I don't know if you can see it, but it is. So that is definitely something around the entire order is their stuff is very thin. So I would wear undergarments with them. I loved how the sleeves were in this. I love how big and droopy they are. The only thing that I don't like is I got it a little bit bigger and that's fine that's on me but from the picture she has it on and it is tucked in so let me go ahead and pull this so it shows that it's long enough to be tucked in and if you recall when I was wearing it it doesn't go that long at all so it kind of stops right after my jean line which I'm not really the biggest fan of. And this was how much? 1172? Oh, so this one was 1172. I don't yeah. know if I said it or not. And this was a 2XL. So I did get it two sizes bigger as well. So at least I know for most stuff that I'm not going to be getting two sizes bigger. That's probably my first mistake. But I feel like if I would have gotten this one smaller, then this would have been way too short, almost like a crop top. And I really just. I'm not into crop tops. It's not what I wear. I don't feel comfortable in them. So I just feel like this is a little bit too loose for me and too short. But this was definitely one that I liked and I can work with. And so I got these little hair clippies. They're like little fuzzy bunnies almost. So they come. Let me open it. How much were these now? $3.61. Sixty-one cents. Yeah. So it comes with like a little poof ball and two little glitter ears, and it's just a snappy snap. And that is also for my four-year-old because she loves cute little things like that, and she has super thin hair. So they're kind of pricey for being as cheap as they are, and I feel yeah. like we probably could have DIY those. Yeah. So these could break anything. Yeah, I feel like we could have gotten the clips. Right, we could have definitely done clips or something. All right, so the next accessories, she has been dying to use these, are scrunchies. So Madison is currently obsessed with scrunchies and she has been waiting to play with these because of our video, but they are super cute. They're soft and they have sparkles on them and they have a little tie, like a little bow tie. You get a pink one, a you get a one. glittery black one, and, a reddish and then a maroon dish. one. So let's and see. The quality is the good. Same as these. So three dollars and sixty-two yeah. cents. So the quality I feel like is good. They stretch very nice. Um, she really mainly wears her scrunchies on her wrist, but when she wears them in her hair, I think that these are gonna do really good. Feel that? Yeah. Those are soft. Yeah. Yeah. Feel like the stretch though. The stretch seams. That's yeah. You can use, like, that's I like, gonna be good. I like it better than the soft ones that I have. Yeah. In my hair. So these are pretty good, and for three dollars and sixty-two cents, it's really not bad. That's right around average. I feel like I think I paid a J.C. Penney for her like six or seven dollars for three of them, and they're super fuzzy soft, which we yeah. like, but they don't hold her hair. And she has very thin hair, so that's strange. So moving on, the next one is going to be hers. So if you can tell the difference in the bag, this is a kid's bag, and the like kind of matte, like shady one. What would that be called? It's, I don't know. It's, it's not just a clear. Weird. So the one that isn't clear, that's the adult one. Okay, so these are also leggings. Madison is a legging fanatic. She does not like to wear jeans or pants, just leggings. And these are also a size 150 in European and 1112 in kids. Okay, so how much are these, ma'am? $6.32. Okay, so they are, and they're 95% polyester and 5% spandex. The, again, they have a little see-through issue, um, but these, they're not bad when she tried them on. They were really long, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and we'll show you right here how they looked on Madison. Okay, so they have like girl power, happy, BFF, hello, 100% awesome, love. So they have like a lot of cute just sayings and I think that they're pretty good material for the mm -hmm. price that we paid for them. 
moving on to another thing for Maddie. So how much was this one? So this was $10.82. This one was $10.82 and she really, really loved this one, but we think we might have gotten it too small. Mm -hmm. It's actually her size, but I feel like this is one that we should have gotten a little bit bigger. And it's very secret. So yeah, so another thing you have to wear a tank top under and the hairs are kind of Oh my Coming god, off. I just like ripped that hair off. So when we wash this, we have to probably be very careful. So it has fuzzies on the sleeves, more neon color. It says queen across it. Tie-dye, neon tie-dye. Um, so for $10.22, it's not terrible. But again, like the letters here, if you're not careful, they are start the fuzzies are starting to fall off. So I'll yeah. go ahead and show you like this. Oh, it's everywhere. Yeah, the fuzzies are getting everywhere. And the only problem is, and I'll go ahead and show you in the video, is it's a little bit short, so she will have to wear a tank top. It's more like a crop sweater. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we do really like the sleeves, how big they are. I don't but really have shirts that are crop tops. I have one shirt, I have a one hoodie that has it's a, a crop, crop top. Yeah. It's very small and I still have it. Yeah, <laughs> and she loves it. But I am not a big fan of her wearing crop tops. So this will have to have a tank top underneath it. So this is a size nine years and a European size 134. So remember your bottoms are bigger because yep. your bottom is bigger. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this one, we'll go ahead and show you right here. As you can see, it's just a little bit shorter than um, Madison is comfortable with. So next time we know for something like this, and it's bigger, it's supposed to be like that baggy crop sweater. So it's really cute, and I think it's good. I just hope that it doesn't fray too much when we wash it, because for $11, you would hope that it has a little bit better quality. Yeah, it's all over me, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is all over me. We got two more. Wait, we do? Yep. One for you, one for me. Oh yeah, this one. Yep. So the last one of Madison's is gonna go right here. And this is just a pair of black leggings with one, she has stripes on just one leg. Um, and then stripes across the waist. Again, these were a little bit long. How much were they? Um, these were, let me go back. These, these were, Eight dollars and twelve cents. Okay, so that's a little bit expensive. The small on her, but the long so, on me. <laughs> because she has to get them in the bigger size because her bum is a little bit bigger um, than normal girls her age. Mm -hmm. And she's super short. Um, so these <laughs> went all the way up to her chest area. Right and um, they just, uh, we'll go ahead and show you a video right here in a minute, but they just don't fit the way I feel like <laughs> leggings should because the difference in this stretchy band and then this loose material, mm -hmm. it's almost like just like, like joggers. Yeah. Almost. So we'll go ahead and slide a video right here. see they're just really long I had to lift her shirt to show you how long they were mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately she'll probably wear them maybe around the house maybe to school if she wants to but you yeah. didn't really like these right mm, it, was a baby. <laughs> it was a baby so all right let's see it's the last item and this is my item and I think this is the one that really made me mad so again I got two sizes too big Oh. Yes, this is the one that really made me mad. Okay, so first of all, it's huge. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to slide showing you guys. All right, so a couple of issues I had with this one, um, other than it is a little bit big, it's see-through. Those are the same issues I've had, no big deal. When I bought this one, how much was this one? This one was $9.02. And I'm going to show you guys what it's supposed to look like on. So if you look here closely, you can see that here. Cover your face for me, Matt. Yeah. So if you look here, you can see that it's supposed to do a deep V into the front and into the back. So in that video I showed you, it does not do that. So the problem that I have is that this is not a deep V. This is like a barely there V. It's, 
I mean, it's literally, I just assumed that it would be more in depth, like come more of a sharper V. So I just feel like that one kind of irritated me because it was not what I saw and it doesn't fit the way or look the way that I wanted it to. And now that I'm looking at it, the V is crooked, so it's not centered, it's over a little bit. So I don't really feel like these were as cheap as I thought they were. Cause I, I thought some of them were like, about this. yeah. So if you pull it up, <clears throat> mm -hmm. you might have to wear a tank top cause it looks like if you put up your arms, it, it might show your belly. Yeah, it might, but I always wear a tank top under everything. So yeah. Um, I don't really feel like these were as cheap as I thought they were. Like they, I, I feel like the app definitely offers cheap or low cost clothing, but I feel like if I'm gonna get this kind of quality, I'm looking to pay like five or six dollars, maybe not nine to fifteen dollars. So I feel like Madison's stuff really turned out great, except for that one pair, right? Mm -hmm. And the sweater, I feel like I wish we would have known it fit the way that it did, so it'd be a little bit longer instead of less like cropped. Um, but I think that we turned out really well. So we spent a total of ninety-one dollars and one cents. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items, which really isn't terrible considering we got twelve items. You got like several pants, several yeah. shirts, some hoodies. So I think that we really lucked out, but I feel like we have to do more of the research of the reviews. Mm -hmm. So if you go under an item on the app, they have a lot of different reviews sometimes it's in other languages so you, you don't really understand it but if you look and it says like fits you know to the size or correct fit or fits too loose fits too small then you can kind of adjust it on there a lot of the kids stuff is in european size yeah. so that was hard to figure out on our end of which is which but we did figure it out except for the pants seemed to be a little bit long so if they had like a thicker, shorter version, it would be a little bit better. Um, I think for adult clothing wise, it was okay. Uh, I think really only two of the shirts I really cared for, which was the first black one and the floral one. What were your two favorite items or what were your I favorite like, items? I like the hoodie. I like both of the hoodies. Yeah, you like the hoodies? So she really liked the hoodies, and I think like that first hoodie was the bomb. Yeah. Like it was very, very good quality. I like the, the tie-dye. Yeah, so I think that is gonna be really good quality. So let me know down below if you guys have ever used the app. Have you ever gotten anything? If you did, did it turn out exactly how you thought? Completely not how you thought. How did it go? Let us know, and as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.